In the wake of the criminal case against Mayor Eric Adams, the future of the city's leadership hinges primarily on three people. All right, first there's Mayor Adams himself, then there's Governor Hochul, who must decide if he should be removed from office, and lastly, there's public advocate Jumani Williams, who would become mayor should that happen. For a closer look at this trio and the roles that each of them play, Linda Schmidt joins us now in studio. Hey, Linda. Yeah, a very important role for all three of them. Now, as public advocate Jamani Williams said today, earlier this morning on Good Day New York, we are in, quote, unchartered territory here. This has not happened before, but he says he is ready to assume the role if needed. The charges are, are pretty egregious. City public advocate Jumani Williams on Good Day New York today, saying Mayor Adams is innocent until proven guilty. However, he says the mayor must be able to prove that he can govern effectively under the weight of the federal indictment. If he feels he can, he should really put out a plan of how he thinks that can go forward. The time to put out that plan, I think, is the windows, you know, starting to close. Governor Hochul is now weighing her options as to whether she should remove the mayor, which she has the power to do. If she does, Williams would temporarily become mayor until a special election could be held in a few months. Being uh, the public advocate, you know that this is a possibility, and so you always have to make sure you're prepared for that. Bradley Tusk is a political analyst. He advised former mayor Mike Bloomberg. Tusk says the governor has to worry about her own political future and alienating voters who support the mayor. If the black community and black voters remain strongly behind Adams, then all of a sudden it becomes very tricky for her to remove him. Tusk believes it is unlikely the governor will force the mayor out. I don't know that the indictment itself on the face of it is strong enough to make an overwhelming substantive case for removal. And Bradley uh, Tusk was also saying, keep an eye on how Al Sharpton, who is a leader in the African-American community, keep a close eye on how he responds to um, the indictment against the mayor. That if he starts calling for the mayor to resign, then that would give uh, Governor Hochul more political protection to then remove him. Back over to you. Very interesting, so yeah. many moving parts here. Linda, thank you so much. And for the latest updates on the case against Mayor Adams, you can visit our website, fox5ny.com. We have a breakdown of what he's accused of, plus a look at the other city officials, city hall officials who are under investigation. All right, Governor.